Yo, what's up guys? It's FG here with another video. End of November, which means we're rolling up on December. It's a new month, a potentially new narrative here. I think that December is going to be a month where people are frustrated about Bitcoin not hitting 100K, even though it already has hit 100K twice on the CME chart, fulfilling the 100K prophecy. But people are simply just in denial about it. They don't want to count it. Mainstream media is not covering it. And I believe everyone is doing themselves a disservice by not celebrating 100K just because their little blowfin exchange didn't print 100K. Um, so, so personally, I'm celebrating and I'm telling my community to celebrate and behave as such that we have hit 100K twice already and that we are in a post 100K world, which means alt season. That, that's a perfect catalyst for alt season. I'm looking at Ethereum um, and I'm concerned for Bitcoin. Like if Bitcoin has a correction here, just down to its November anchor. So you slap an anchored view up on the 1st of November. You could see that Bitcoin could dump 12% here and it would be like nothing. It would just be a healthy correction in an already strong uptrend. The anchor itself is sloped up and so it's some pretty strong support. But if that failed, even the quarterly anchor down here is sloped up, the October anchor there. So Q4 is still in a good shape, even if we lose the November anchor. And so we have this really strong 20% cushion here on Bitcoin. Meanwhile, alts are really cooling up, especially Ethereum. I believe that the timing here on Ethereum with this signal couldn't be any better. Bitcoin hitting 100K, the turn of a new month, Christmas around the corner. Um, old season pretty much confirmed here. And you're looking at a monthly scale oversold wave that's about to create a green dot. I believe that a green dot here is pretty much guaranteed. Uh, once this month closes, all we need is just a little bit of pumpage in December for a green dot to form here. And that's just going to be an absolute giga signal that sends this chart up. Maybe not to like all time highs or anything, but I think that the ETH BTC pair could easily pump 20 to 30%. And so you're eyeballing like 0.05 as the target, but I believe that 0.05 will be very stiff, stiff resistance. And at around that 0.05 level, I'll be looking to rotate out of Ethereum into other things. But uh, for the time being, I, I believe that Ethereum is going to have a month or two where it just kind of rips on Bitcoin and it's just having its time. And I believe the time is nigh. Now, when you look at the ETH USDT chart, we're getting a fresh monthly signal here as well. You got the yellow oscillator crossing zero and the green dot here. So um, I'm having a really good outlook on ETH and ETH doing well is good for all altcoins. That kind of signals the start of alt season. Obviously, if coins like Ripple and Cardano can pump, so can ETH. And so my upside targets for ETH, I don't really have a hard upside target, but I do believe that ETH could kind of giga pump here into like anywhere from like 6k to 12k in the next couple of months and i believe it's going to be a feeding frenzy we're going to hit that top relatively quick and then the party's going to be over from there so that's my take on eth um obviously looking at the stock market here ignoring that quarterly correction you can see like we never got that dump down to the s p 500s q3 anchor and so we just kind of pumped harder up and gave risk on assets a green light to keep going and so the boomers have been sidelined and it's time for the younger generations i believe to get their last bit of fill out of like these risk on assets like cryptos and meme coins and shit and like just squeeze one last juice out of this bull run before like the the whole thing comes toppling down potentially next year or something but uh, obviously, like, you know, there's going to come a quarter where the S&P loses this steam, but it's just not the time. So right now, risk on assets still doing great. S&P showing amazing strength off that Trump victory. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. So make sure that you use code Gobble Gobble for 60% off Market Cypher. We got a crazy Black Friday deal going on. Code Gobble Gobble. And... Um, that's our gift to you guys for the holiday season. We wanted to give you guys the best discount possible for Market Cipher. Get as many people up and running, trading for the holiday season as we could. 
So uh, God bless you guys. Hope you guys have a good holidays. And if you like everything I said in this video, drop a comment, like, and subscribe, share it out. And I'll talk to you guys again.